All right, y'all. I'm going to try and break this down Barney style for you real quick. Uh, this is how you're going to do your travel voucher in the fastest, easiest way possible. So you're going to log into DTS. First place you're going to go, official travel, over to vouchers. You're going to click this. First thing that's going to pop up is going to be your vouchers. All the ones you've done will be down here. And then when you have a new one, it's going to say create a voucher from approved authorization slash orders. You'll click that link. It'll take you to a new page. You'll click create. And then it will take you to the very next page, which will be your voucher. Um, when you're doing a voucher, the only thing we really need to adjust on here is going to be your expenses. So we'll go to the expenses tab. Um, you'll have your non-mileage expenses. These are anything from uh, hotel taxes, uh, gasoline for your rental car, uh, you got tolls down here at the bottom. Those are your typical ones you're going to see. Um, no one's going to do your uh, private, you know, plane taxes and hangar fees, but somebody will, but not the majority of you. So you'll enter that in, enter the total amount, and enter the date. So if you've got 10 fuel receipts, you're going to have 10 here, 10 different ones under this, and then uh, the amount and the date for each one. And the next tab we're going to go to is our mileage. This is if you're driving to and from the airport, you can add that in. That'll be terminal. If you're driving to and from your duty station, that'll be uh, the TDY, TAD. Um, and then some of you are going to have in and around mileage authorized. Make sure that you're doing the date that it started, date that it ended. Uh, if you're going to and from an uh, airport or driving to and from the duty station, make sure those change and then you'll update the mileage. Uh, next tab you're going to go to is going to be your per diem entitlements. Some of you are not going to have to edit this. It's going to look the same. It's going to have the right amount for your hotel, uh, your per diem. If you're authorized full per diem, it's going to be there. Um, how you edit that is you'll click your edit button, and you can make it do a date range from the entire set of orders. So if the lodging never changed from $91, you could set it for the whole time you were there, and it'll always be $91. Um, these usually are going to stay the same, unless for some reason you weren't authorized meals. They may change it to... Uh, commercial quarters without meals, or if you were authorized meals, it's going to be set with quarters and meals available. So you can change that to, to make it adjust, so you can edit basically your per diem rates. Um, a lot of them are, are going to be available with all these selected, though, and it's going to give you the flat rate per diem. But if you don't know how to edit this stuff, you can just go and skip this section, and once you send it, to your authorizing official, they're going to uh, edit it anyways. They're going to make it correct. So really, it's not too important, but it's something to take a look at. Uh, last tab we're going to look at here is our substantiating records. Make sure all your documents show up here. You want to have all your receipts that you sent, so any lodging, um, any rental car, any fuel, any tolls, you want those to appear here. We don't care about your, your, your Burger King or your McDonald's receipts. You can keep those um, if you're a reservist, you need to have your orders on here. You always need to have a SATO itinerary on here. And then you can obviously browse from the computer that you scan them in and then upload them. If you have a fax, I highly recommend sending them with the fax. Here's where you print your fax cover sheet. Because the greatest thing about the fax is it doesn't have a limit. This, when you upload this, sometimes it has a limit. And you'll meet your mix real quick. So if you do it all in one big document, it won't work. You have to split it up. If you fax it, you can fax it all in one big document. It'll go through. No problem. So recommend fax, but if you don't have it, upload them. That's fine. Just make sure you put it all in there so that your authorizing official can correct it. So that's basically it. And we're going to go to review and sign. Um, you don't care about any of this info. You only care about your expenses when you're doing a voucher. You want your money back, so you want to get your expenses correct. Those four tabs. So we just click through. If there's showing a flag here and you don't know what it is, um, just put a period. These people never know what these are. This is foreign to you if you don't do it on a daily basis. Just put a period in. If it has a reason code, select the reason code. And then save and proceed. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to sign it. Obviously, I'm not signing this one. I'm approving official on this one. So, uh, But yours will say sign. You will sign it. And if it brings up any pop-ups, you make sure you get through those. And then that's it. 
and when you're done it'll actually say signed in that little portion here on voucher so somewhere over here next to view and edit it'll say signed so that's it short and sweet